Okay, let's talk about setting an IP address in PowerShell. Now, before we dive into it, let's actually take a look at some of the commands that are available to us. So, <clears throat> I'm going to issue the command get command, and I want to look for anything related to IP address. So, it's get command asterisk IP address asterisk. And you're going to see that we have get net IP address, new net IP address, remove net IP address, set net IP address. And all of these are in the net TCP IP source. So let's do a get command dash module net TCP IP. And this will show us all of our commands in that module. And there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff here. So we're going to have get net IP address, get net IP interface, get net IP protocol. Uh, we're going to have uh, net TCP settings. So a whole bunch of information here for managing both our addresses and our interfaces. Now that's actually going to be really important because when we're configuring devices, we need to know what interface we're dealing with. All right, so we can't just do set net IP address and set one because we may have more than one interface in our network. So we're going to have to be able to figure out which interfaces we have. All right, so now that we have an idea of how we can find the commands, let's take a look at uh, a couple of them here. Let's issue the command get net IP address. And this is going to display all of my IP addresses on all of my interfaces. And you're going to see here I have several things going on. It's because I've got uh, an extra interface card here to play with. But as you scroll up, you can see I finally got back to the top. I've got IP address, uh, aliases, address families, types, um, the interface index. So I've got quite a few things going on. Let's see if we can filter this out. And I will do so using the command. Let me find my interfaces. So I'm going to get net IP interface. And this is going to show me all of my interfaces. So I have interface index 10, 6, and 1, uh, alias of Ethernet 2, Ethernet, and a loopback pseudo interface. And then over here, it's going to show me my DHCP status, my connection state. I can find a whole bunch of other things. But one of the key things I'm looking for here is I'm looking for my interface index. So I said before when we're setting an IP address, we need to set it for a specific interface. And we can identify these either by interface index or interface alias. I like interface index because it has less typing. Now I'm going to play with my Ethernet too. So let me issue the command get net IP address for interface index 10, which is my Ethernet 2. All right, that filters it down a little bit. So I have an IP address, gives me my index, my alias, my address family is v4. It's a unicast address. It gives me my prefix length. I got this via DHCP. Uh, both for my prefix and my suffix. It's the preferred address. All right, all of my information here. Now, let's start configuring. Let's say I want to take this off of DHCP because this is on a server. I want to turn off DHCP and I want to specify an IP address for it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. So, we have, I turn off the ad or the DHCP not on the address but on the interface. So if I do a get net IP interface for interface index 10, it's going to tell me all of my information about that, including the fact that DHCP is enabled. All right, how am I going to turn that off? Well, let's do a get help for get net IP. I don't want get, I want to change it. So it's going to do set net IP interface. And one of these days you think I'd remember to pipe that to more all the time. All right, so here's my set net IP interface. And there is a whole bunch of options here for setting my uh, net IP interface settings. But one of them is right here, dash DHCP can be either enabled or disabled. Now again, I'm going to have to specify which interface I'm using. So I can do interface alias, notice is a positional parameter. 
Um, that's the only positional parameter. But I can also use my interface index. It's hiding down here somewhere. To specify an interface index rather than typing in Ethernet 2. So this is the command I would use. It'd be set net IP interface interface index 10 DHCP disabled and that will turn off DHCP on that so now if I do a get net IP interface for interface index 10 I'm going to see that DHCP is now disabled for me okay now let's take a look at commands for net IP address because there's a couple of things I want to show you here. So I'm going to do get command for noun net IP address, which is how we work with the IP addresses. And you're going to have four of them here. Get, new, remove, set. All right, so get net IP address. Well, obviously that gets our IP address information. So if I do get net IP address for interface index 10 it's going to tell me what I have um, new net IP address creates a new one and this is where we get sometimes confused all right new net IP address creates a new address for me set net IP address modifies an existing IP address so that's going to be important because if I'm trying to set an IP address on a device, we normally talk in terms of I'm going to set an, an IP address. Well, in PowerShell, set just modifies one that's already there. So if I tried to set an IP address on the interface, it wouldn't work. I have to create a new one. Then once I have it there, if I want to modify something, I can use set. And then if I want to get rid of it, I do a remove. So let me create a new net IP address. But before we do that, let me get help for new net IP address. And I'm going to filter it through more, pipe it through more. So new net IP address, I need to set the IP address, positional parameter. I don't have to use this if it's the first thing. I can set the IP address family, the default gateway, the um, prefix length, uh, and that's going to be key. So we do this as a prefix length rather than as a um, typing in a subnet mask. So here's what my command would be. And notice I can do this either for interface alias or for interface index. So. Uh, and those I have to specify. That's not in square brackets. I have to specify either an interface alias or an interface index. So this is going to be my command. New net IP address. It's going to be 10.1.1.10. Uh, I want to set, I don't care about the address family because that's going to default to IPv4. I do want to set a prefix length and I'm going to make this a standard class C so we're going to do a prefix length of 24 I can set a default gateway of 10.1.1.1 and then I want to set I need to specify interface index 10 and that sets my IP address or to be precise, creates a new IP address. So IP address 10.1.1.10, interface index 10, interface alias, defaulted to IPv4, my prefix length, it's uh, in the active store. So now I have configured my IP address. Now I have not set DHCP. By the way, let me do a get net IP address all of a sudden, I can't remember if I turned off DHCP. Get net IP address, interface, we'll find out here in a minute, index 10. Okay, perfect. I think I turned off DHCP earlier. If not, you can tell me and I'll go back over how to do that. Now, that's 
Uh, should have turned off DHCP. That sets my IP address. Now what I need to do is I need to set my DNS uh, information. Now let's do a get command and I want to look for everything that's related to DNS client. And we're going to have a whole bunch of them here. But this right here, get DNS client server ad address and set DNS client server address are the two big ones. So here's what I want to do. I want to do get DNS client server address for interface index 10. I'm going to see that, well, I had one previously from when I was playing. So let me show you how to set that. So the command is set DNS client server address and I'm going to set my and actually let me do a git help on this thing because I want to show you some, a couple of things first. Git help set DNS client server address. And so we're going to set the interface alias or the interface index that we want for it. Um, we are going to, we can reset the server address or we specify right here dash server address is going to specify the address that we need to, or that we're going to use. This one right down here, this parameter set, notice is the one that in, includes the interface index. Everything else is the same. You just can't use interface index and interface alias at the same time. So I'm going to set DNS client server address for interface index 10. I want to set the server address to 10.1.1.7. And that should set it. Now if I do a get DNS client server address and this time I won't specify for which one it'll get all of them for me and you'll see right here for Ethernet 2 IPv4 I'm using 10.1.1.7 okay so now I've set my IP address I've turned off DHCP I've set my default gateway I've set my DNS server and we viewed all of this using the PowerShell commands for a lot of us, we're pretty comfortable with using the ipconfig command. That's not a PowerShell command, but PowerShell will allow you to run that command. And there's my ipconfig showing Ethernet 2. Let me do ipconfig forward slash all to show more information. And here we go, host adapter 2. Our gateway, our DNS server, our IP address, our subnet mask. We have completely configured an IP address for this interface using PowerShell. All right, one more thing that I want to show you. Um, remember, let's do a get command noun net IP address. Remember I said if we're changing an IP address, we'll use set net IP address. If we're creating a new one, we'll use the new net IP address. Well, sometimes what we need to do is we need to create a, set a different address. And we, I can create a new net IP address on this interface. Um, but if I do, what will happen is it will add it as an additional address. So sometimes I need to get rid of one. And that's where we use the remove net IP address. And that's how this is going to work. Let's do remove net IP address I'm going to specify interface index 10. Now this is going to remove all of them so it's going to ask me to confirm multiple times. I can just hit the A yes to all and that will remove all of them at once. So now if I do my IP config that's gone and I have a 169.254 Notice, by the way, my default gateway is still intact. It's because I didn't tell it to remove the default gateway. Okay, so um, hopefully that gives you an idea of how we can manage IP addresses using PowerShell.